What's up guys, Dave Ward here with a quick message about how to stay motivated. It's actually um, in response to a question that I got from one of my Beachbody clients who, you know, basically was sort of saying, hey, you know, I kind of have this tendency to start and stop and start and stop. And I really want to finish this time. And, and how do I do that? And I want to use as a framework for this discussion, a Tony Robbins quote, because I think this is sort of how I always think about the ultimate reset, which I think is a big challenge. So I'm going to read it off my computer. And the quote is that the secret of success is learning how to use pain and pleasure instead of having pain and pleasure use you. If you can do that, you're in control of your life. If you can't, your life controls you. So here's kind of where I'm, I'm going with this. What I always ask people to think about when they start to talk to me about motivation or the start and stop thing, which is very common by the way, um, is why are you doing this? Okay, and that's where, always where I go. I go right to why are you doing this? And, and usually we have to get through a few kind of vague answers. You know, well, I wanna lose weight or I wanna build muscle or I wanna lose weight and build muscle or I wanna you know, feel good or you know, we kind of get some, some not real concrete answers like when somebody says to me well i want to do this fitness program because i just left my doctor and my doctor told me that if i don't change my life um i'm already pre-diabetic i'll be you know potential for diabetes and heart disease and all this other stuff and i'm scared of that i'm terrified and i know that if i go down that route i might not get to see my kids graduate from college or my grandchildren or something like that when we get down to that I don't worry about motivation or not because I know that they have conceptualized it in a way in their mind that they're using pain and pleasure to serve them. So take a look at kind of what that looks like. Okay. So in the moment, right? So let's, and the, the specific question that I asked um, my Beachbody client about was what, what's the thing that when you're presented with a choice to either do your workout or, or eat right or something on this side of the ledger, which is getting you towards your long-term goal. And you're presented with a choice of to do that or to do this. And this might be um, skipping your workout to watch TV, or um, it could be eating a really unhealthy meal, but something over here that pushes you away. When people look at these things, they, they, they have a tendency to, to get very momentary about them. Okay. And what I mean by that is in the moment, Where's the pain? Where's the pleasure? If we're using pain and pleasure as, you know, what I believe is the key motivating factors in people's lives is the, you know, desire to seek pleasure, but more importantly, the desire to avoid pain. Okay. When we look at it in the moment, it seems as if, oh, the pain is on this side because I'm doing a workout and that's going to be hard or I'm, I'm eating right and that is means I'm depriving myself, right? So it's like the pain is over here and the pleasure's over here and the pleasure is eating that pizza, cupcake, cheeseburger, insert, whatever. The pleasure is in watching that TV show. And so you're, you're, you're putting the equation like that where all the pain is on the side of the equation that is gonna move you in the direction you wanna go and all the pleasure is on the side of the equation that's gonna move you on the direction that you don't wanna go and the reason is because you're looking at it too momentarily, okay? You're looking at it right now, where's the pain and where's the pleasure? My desire to avoid pain is very is stronger than my desire to seek pleasure, but if that's what you're doing and you've equated that with pain, you can't get there. So what I want you to do is reassociate things, okay? And this is a Tony Robbins quote, if I didn't mention that earlier, so it's from Tony Robbins, and he does a really great job of helping you reassociate things like this. Instead, what you have to look at it is flip the equation, okay? You put the pleasure on this side of things and the pain on this side of things. And the way you do it is very simple, by looking at your long term. So going back to my example of the person who's, you know, maybe pre-diabetic or has some serious medical condition. They need to be saying, the pleasure is on this side of the equation. It's in getting my workout done. It's in eating right. It's in following, you know, the nutrition program or doing whatever it is else that you need to do over on this side of the equation to get you to your long-term goal. Yes, in this moment, that may be temporarily painful, but in the long-term, it will be ultimately, ultimately pleasurable. And then you look at this side and you flip it from the pleasure of eating this cupcake right now to the pain of knowing that you are stepping one step further away from whatever your ultimate goal and reason for doing this program is. If you can do that, you have a high probability of success. If you can't, I can just tell you, or you don't have a big enough reason is the other thing that happens to a lot of people. They don't have a big enough reason. 
So when they start to do this pain and pleasure analysis, subconsciously really, they start looking at it and going, well, yeah, I don't really, I don't know, because I want to lose weight and you know gain, build muscle and burn fat. And they kind of go, um, no, go in this direction because that's painful and I want to avoid pain. So I'm going to go seek pleasure right now because the reason, the long-term reason isn't big enough. But when you can really boil it down and get into the long-term of why you're doing something, that analysis happens really easily. You just, no, this side doesn't even exist. Or sometimes it does, right? You're going to have a cheat here and there. I don't have any problem with that, by the way. But for the most part, that side of the equation doesn't exist. It's all over here. And you just start saying, that's pleasurable, that's pleasurable, that's pleasurable. Moving towards my goals is pleasurable. Getting my workouts done, knowing that I took another step forward and another step forward, that is pleasurable. And this short-term pleasure over here is actually painful because it pulls me away from what I really want and my ultimate goal in doing that workout. Okay, so there's a little psychology lesson for you that I learned from Tony Robbins a couple years ago and has helped me uh, immensely. I hope it helps you. If you're confused by that or have questions about it or want to talk more about it or anything else, please just post a comment below. I'm more than happy to get into this. It's actually, I think, a super productive topic for us to talk about generally. I hope you guys are having a fantastic 2015, and I'll talk to you later.